No more having to sync up audio and editing for the win. Hello everyone, Silver Moon five, just Silver Moon here with another episode of Let's Play Skylanders: Spyro's Adventure. In the last part, we started on Chapter Nine, Tree Top, Tree Top Terrace, excuse me, and got to this point after bowling over enemies with a spiky ball of doom. Ah oh man, that just reminded me. Well, not a spiky ball, more like a bone cage from Pirates of the Caribbean 2. Or kind of like a bone cage, I guess. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to continue on through this chapter and hope and maybe finish it because I finished chapter nine, eight, or chapter nine in like two videos. So maybe I will. But with that. Let's press the C button and activate a 10 second timer to try and get to this platform. And we succeed! But we have to wait for the timer to run out before it carries us over, of course. Oh? Oh, weird gate blocks our path. And the winch is over there! Of course we have to... to, like... Wait for everything to go down before we continue. Ugh. But the uh, but the way back should be like a straight shot, and we get more time than the last one, thankfully. So let's go through this gate of time from Skyward Sword, even though these are two different game universes. I was just saying how tomatoes look like Metroids. This game universe and that game universe are completely different. Ah! Stun poison, darn it. Phantom could do many different things, of course, but according to Jay again, of course, I like, I reference him a lot even though he doesn't have any videos. But since Air Skylanders are more powerful and I just got a level up for Dark Spyro, I guess I'll be switching back to Lightning Rod. That is true with Lightning. Not in baseball, but Lightning is definitely true. And here's an interesting move. You go through here and up this way. Oh, what's over here? Whoa! Have these gross spearmen gotten a. Have these gross spearmen gotten a buff since last time I saw them? I mean, jeez! They were taking a. Maybe it's because there were so many of them, maybe. Maybe it's because there were so many of them. Yeah, all ganging up on me. Have we gotten all treasure chests yet? No, we haven't. There's still one more. Your shuriken ain't working! And your black is blue! Thumbs up to anyone who can get that reference. Haha, you're a sitting duck now! Level up! And Lightning Rod was only level 2, okay? No wonder the Drillman Spearmen seem to have a buff of some kind. Lightning Rod was only level 2! Jeez! Am I not being organized with what level my characters are or what? Oh, and it un. Wait, no, that's. It's another crystal puzzle! Okay, it's okay. So basically, the it's not going. Oh, push it down, push it over, and now it's. Oh, okay. The other crystals were not needed at all, and this one's not on a timer since, quite obviously, you had to get a, a beam puzzle done. Oh, great. All areas found, so... Oh, there's a... Uh, and... Okay, that's just cheap. Can... Can Lightning Rod's B attack breach? No, it cannot. Oh, maybe it can. So I have to beat these guys... with, uh... while they're being healed. Yeah. 
You know what? Time to take a tr a trick from those the book of those row. Let's see how they like it when I'm being healed and they're trying to kill me. This would probably be a lot easier with a life Skylander because that's the bonus. But then again, Stun Smash already has a level, so. What level is Zook? Big time! Four. Don't want to level up any characters that do not need a level. But I guess I will if I have to. Because that white, that green mage is annoying. Messing with the white with white mages, forbidden. Messing with green mages is okay. All right, now that those enemies are done with, and we have actual access to that ugh, that healer, so we can put him. Quit his healing. Let's switch back to Lightning Rod. Oh! He jumped down. Oh! What? What the? Ugh. All right. Warnado, let's go. Yeah. Time to take out you. All right. Focus on the one that's already that has the mage still. Knock the mage off. I might actually do. Yep, I lost one. You know. I was hoping for a death free run, but guess I'll have to level up Warnado in the next chapter. Scorch. All right, got him. Awesome. Of course. Yeah, that made it a lot easier when the. Those. Idiotic Goliaths just jumped down. Now let's see if the treasure chest is up here because if not, I'm gonna have to replay this level. Well, just to. Get the treasure chest. <laughs> You've done it! Great legend of Skyland come to life! <laughs> That's a new You've found life seeds and nature rejoices! We shall spread their happiness to the core of light and watch them grow! Okay, hopefully not, because that'll take years. And of course, back to the core of light. And this is why the sheep are so evil in this challenge. Shoo, 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 land creature. Have you no respect for the sacred life, seeds? They don't. They're too dumb. See, I've been saying those sheep are evil. Oh. Evil, I tell you. Of course, just these for this seeds part, we Hugo. Back have grown into these wonderful okay, that was apple fast. bushes. Apple Shoot. bushes? Apples grow on trees. But these They're small sheep trees. are eating all the apples. Could you please keep the sheep away long enough for the apples to grow? Okay, then if you don't know how to do this, this is a bit to speak to me. tedious. I'm going to switch off of Cinder because, well, you'll want a Skylander that can actually produce fire. Ready. 
All right, so they will actually, when the apples pop off, they, but if you light them on fire, the sheep will actually run around for a bit and, and it will keep them at bay. No, you don't. One of 15. Yes, to add to the, the horrible, how horrible the challenge is, you have to collect 15 apples. Yes! Burn! Burn! Burn, sheep! Burn! 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 And they just linger there without their wool for a bit once, once they get done burning. Already halfway there. See, this isn't that bad if you use a fire Skylander. But they don't give you any in the starter pack, so you have to act at least in the console starter pack, so you have to actually go out and buy one if you don't get both th the 3DS version and the console version. Ah! Curse! Curse you sheep! Burn! Yeah, this is Eon's longest little message. 9 to 15. So we're well on our way. Burn, sheep, burn! Burn and bah! Ah! That That's one of the glaring little flaws of this game. 11 to 15. Two for two at once. Thirteen to fifteen, just two more. Fourteen to fifteen. Fifteen to fifteen, awesome. <laughs> Blended. And turning sheep right behind Arvo. <laughs> is hidden inside a giant a acorn, giant acorn within, within a tree. Of life. I know where to find it because the seeds tell me things. Oh, I feel strange now. The forest is in danger. We should go quickly. Are you ready to go? We will be quickly going quickly now? in the next episode. So, with that. If you like this part, subscribe, comment, give thumbs up. This is Phil Rune saying, have a nice day.